Washington had won at Trenton twice and drove the British from Princeton. Now he contemplates yet another roll of the dice. Brunswick holds a tantalizing cache of stockpiles and few British defenders. But with little sleep in the past two days, his troops are beyond exhaustion. So on January 7th, Washington and the remainder of his victorious army head towards the mountain retreat at Morristown, New Jersey. From here, his army supports the local militias, harassing the British and raiding the countryside, eliminating their supply routes and sources of food. Like a thousand wasp stings, the raids ultimately force the British to the relative safety and comfort of New York City. With his army now safely positioned around Morristown, Washington was forced to confront an even deadlier enemy, disease. His battle-worn citizen soldiers huddled in winter encampments are prime targets for the great killer of the revolution, smallpox. Fearing discovery through British agents, Washington boldly orders that his entire army be quietly inoculated. This action, mandated in all Continental Army camps, would save countless lives, lives of the very soldiers who would continue the fight for freedom. Facing what seemed to most on both sides as certain defeat, a ragtag force of Continentals had stunned the British and the world. Washington's bold stroke across the Delaware led to the defeat of three different Hessian and British forces in one brilliant campaign. The once mighty British army, numbering 31,000 in the summer of 1776, had now been reduced to less than half that number and its great gains of territory had been largely wiped away in New Jersey. Frederick the Great, King of Prussia, and one of the world's great military minds, called Washington's exploits those ten fateful days the most brilliant of any recorded in the annals of military achievements. At the center of this great strategic reversal stood General George Washington, Undaunted by the staggering losses of the summer of 1776, he provided the critical leadership that saved the remnants of the Continental Army and compelled them to victory at Trenton and Princeton. His strength, tempered by flexibility and an open ear, built an army able to absorb defeat, win victories, and able to turn the dream of a new nation into a lasting reality.